60 complaints of animal cruelty do you think Global will receive over this task? That's why I don't watch um, I'm a Celebrity because of really? animal cruelty. Because they kill those, bu- all the. I mean, I don't give a fuck about bugs. If you they, don't have I'm a Celebrity in Canada, they I don't do, think they have they do. it everywhere, I think. I don't know, America has it, and but I don't know if it's popular. It's cruel. Like, they eat all those things that it's are alive. It's a bit like Survivor, but celebrities, isn't it? Yeah, they bugs. eat things that are alive. It's cr- disgusting. Yeah, I don't eating things alive is it. gross. Awful. But that sort of like type of thing is creeping into Big Brother more and more, isn't it? Yeah, oh god, fish guts, all of it. But <laughs> on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, they can, they, and I actually looked this up, yeah. they had a record of where they used 120,000 critters, as they call mm. them, in a trial. Now that's probably mm. a ton of bugs, but there were only three rats. 120,000 in... dead animals, basically. Well, yeah, there were only three rats in each of those. Hold oh, on, we haven't even got to the rats yet. Ico's still on the bunnies. The eyes are uh-huh. red. <laughs> I'm glad they did put bunnies with red eyes in, just because that seemed to be the thing that was really upsetting yeah. her. Yeah, here's a question. Would she have freaked out that yeah, much if it was just a normal, like, brown bunny with brown eyes? Yeah. And then Ico was literally, like, just crying. And then when they took the bunnies out, she just turned to William and she went, William, what number are you on? <laughs> so good. Um. Oh, wait. The next one was the most twisted. Mm sort of what did they call it oh, heavenly surprise it was yeah. described as mm-hmm. this one was pretty fucked up and it reminded me of big brother uk and it was like evil oh, big brother yeah they haven't done in fact even our big brother hasn't done this to people they ha- they've done things like when they got colleen's husband to talk to the yeah. son to yeah be behind it's that a wall. bit like that isn't it a little like bit that. like that so they used the laughter of the kids of bruno and Ica <laughs> as a distraction. Ica's three children. <laughs> Ica's three kids. <laughs> this was this was this came from the sort of the the type of the the part of Big Brother's brain mm. that delivers you breakfast in bed and then drops it onto your head through <laughs> through the ceiling. It's that yeah. element of Big Brother. Yeah, cool. which you don't see much in this type. No, in this, in they're this not format. that. They're not that mean to them. Apart from have nots and that, they're actually not that mean to them, are they? No, I like it. I think it's it just. Or, or, not off topic, but yeah. as part of this task, mm-hmm. I think the strategy is well, actually, I'm completely wrong because I've put the strategy is don't buzz in too early. People always buzz in too early at these things, but yeah. actually, they all buzz in late. Mm-hmm. So, the earliest person won. So, just ignore that that I just said. But some of them thought they were cleverly buzzing in because mm-hmm. they thought it was under. Yeah. That they, they thought they were. But they weren't. So, Bruno and Ike were crying about their children again. <laughs> yeah. Then, <laughs> rat. they actually did bring rats. The out. albino rat. And, <laughs> and, which was the worst part of this, was, and their shit. Were did you shit? notice that? No. So when they tipped them into... Yeah. Well, first off, they put them in the cylinder. Yeah. And I thought, well, what's that? Yeah. Gonna, what's the, I know. That's not scary. I said, they're not going to get out of there, are they? Yeah. And next thing they and came... And then, then Dre was there, and that person just threw them all over she went, Dre. no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But actually, that was quite good, because mm. I thought it was weird at first, but if you think about, you've put it in there in the cylinder, and then you've got that build-up of, oh my god, is yeah. this going to get on me or not? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I noticed that the shit came out on top of Dre Ew, as well, and that's like, that's actually dangerous, because awful. like, mice and rat piss and, yeah. and poo can like make you go blind, right? Can it? I, I think so. And they weren't even wearing any protective goggles. <laughs> Health Come on, Global, safety. sort it out. Get Mario in there, sort out the health and safety. And then some of those rats had diarrhoea all over the fucking cylinder, was covered Are in you runny serious? shit. Yes. Yeah. I didn't see that. I'm, I'm very observant. Ew. You are very observant. <laughs> it's disgusting. So Ica said, oh my God, that is nasty. Apparently it was. Um, I've put, why the rats in a tube empty the fuckers out? <laughs> <laughs> I've written, it put me off my orange that I was eating at the time. <laughs> and then Dre started going, Sidigalas, Sidigalas. <laughs> Did you notice that? Means that means ridiculous. It's disgusting. Oh. I don't know if I've pronounced that Sidigalas. right. Sidigalas. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, she was. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I get that. I yeah. recall that now. And then um, Dre and Ica seemed particularly unhappy about the whole rat situation. Who turns to? Bruno was... <laughs> what? What do you Black mean? Black girls don't deal with rats very yeah. well. Do, well, do you know what? I wasn't going to say this, but... I don't know if this is like a massive, massive stereotype. You can correct me if I'm wrong. My black listeners, my our black <laughs> listeners can also correct me if I'm wrong. But I have noticed my. a lot, <laughs> a lot of black people who I've met. Oh, this might be racist. I'm not. Sure. Tell me if it is, and I'll take it back. A lot of black people yep. don't like animals. Yeah. No, I've seen. Yeah. I've experienced this because I, I sometimes look after a dog, and yeah. I find that 
sometimes black people are quite hostile yeah, they, or scared yeah of the and, a, and a lot of black people keep their animals outside and this is going from things that my black friends oh god that sounds awful have told me <laughs> and i'm my black friend at work really fucking hates animals and she particularly hates cats who i love and that might be a sweeping generalization but i so do you think, think that I, it's cruel to think, put ica as yeah, a black I'm girl next ta- to a bunny this rabbit this task is racist but um i don't know there just seems to be less of a sort of affinity with pet with pet. I think it's less of having animals. Yeah, as in pets. your home, it might yeah. be a, that might be a cultural it's thing. Like just keep them outside, keep them away. Yeah, it could so be. you won't want them like crawling all over you like that. Perhaps because there are cultures that consider animals to be dirty. Yeah, like, like well, the Islamist are dirty. cultures as oh, well. Yeah, like pigs are dirty. Yeah, but also I don't think they like dogs either. No, well dogs are filthy, aren't they? Because yeah, li- they're rat- in buttholes. And rats are filthy as well. My cat's filthy too. Um, yeah, but it builds your immune system up to have them around you but is that offensive that might be just like a massive generalisation I don't know but anyway, I'm sure let, people will tell let us let us know if that is tweet us <laughs> at yeah. me beyond blast I, not I a personal guest I certainly don't mean to be offensive but that is something anecdotally that I've I've thought over time um, but I noticed that Bruno was stroking one of them rats <laughs> was he? yeah no. he was sat on his, on his no friends. he was like stroking it I thought Aww. oh that made me warm to Bruno when he did that yeah. <laughs> um then I could just got out. She's like, I'm oh done. shit! Yeah, she just jumped out <laughs> with the rat. Like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of it. I thought she should have at least pressed the button. No, she did. She... Oh, she did because her halo illuminated. Oh, uh, okay. It's basically okay. a light switch. Okay, a light switch. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Dre said, "The little feet all over our bodies." <laughs> <laughs> I like that. They're scratchy with the nails <laughs> Ooh, and stuff. I know, their little nails are quite yeah. creepy. And Ica said, any person in their right mind would have done what I did. I could cope with three rats. I used to have pet rats. Oh, did you? Yeah, I had two pet rats. They were horrible. Bigger than that though, right? Are they? No, I not I knew I used to have them bigger than that. Fucking horrible. When Dimitri's was looking at that rat, it was cute. That, oh, that picture, picture is, is funny, classic. isn't it? <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I watch a lot of reality TV, mm. and I watch I'm a Celebrity year in, year out, mm. and I will never, ever Do forget... You? Yeah, I like I'm a Celebrity Do a lot. You? I know it's animal cruelty, whatever, she but it's funny. Podding, I'm a Celebrity. Yeah, no, we Shall we? I'm a Celebrity on Blast. <laughs> I hate it, though, but I'll, I would give it... I'd definitely try it. I really enjoy it. I'd give it a go. But I will never forget Jenny Bond, who was a BBC News royal that, correspondent, yeah being put into I think it's the first time they've done this oh, task yeah, into this coffin and the coffin was <laughs> I mean this is basically a derivative of that task but the coffin was under the ground so it's dark water came in mm. and then tons of rats as well yeah. and we're talking hundreds mm. of rats and she sat that out like so stoic stoically yeah and she <laughs> rose out of that um, grave as you had a <laughs> She was making mascara out of the charcoal from the bonfire, okay. from the fire in the camp. Uh-huh. She was, her like char- charcoal mascara was all running. <laughs> but like I thought, these three rats are nothing mm, compared yeah, to it's, that. It's true. Nothing compared <laughs> to you. It's true. It's nothing. Um, and then then we had Hallelujah again. Oh God. And then William was the first to press, and I thought yeah, he was. Uh, he thought too early, right? And Dimitri said it only eighty-five minutes has passed. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin was next. When Kevin got out, he apologised to the rat as he removed it from his <laughs> junk. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> Did he? <laughs> yeah, he like, picked it up and went, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, mate. Um, oh, yeah, then I put Bruno was stroking the rat. Oh. Perhaps mice don't like trouser snakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rat was on someone's feet. Rat, like, I wouldn't like that, a rat on my feet, because I don't like people touching my feet. Itchy. I wouldn't mind the rat. I just... I suppose when it's scampering over you, it is a bit... Ooh, I don't know. For me, it would be the dirtiness of the situation. Yeah. It would be shitting on you, peeing on you. Yeah. That's all that I'd worry about. I wouldn't be that bothered about that. I would insist on goggles, though, I think. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> so then Bruno buzz next, and then Dre. Dre and Bruno were 27 minutes over. That so is... that was 127 minutes? Yeah. That was long. That, yeah, that is long. <laughs> That's two hours. So somehow William won. Yeah, and he was seven minutes and four seconds mm, over. over. And now this is just what William needs, isn't it? I know. Another I know. POV. He's got VOs coming out of his ears. But it turns out it made for good t- TV. Yeah, I put it denies us the drama of the secret VO. It actually but made it more did drama. not d- deny us the drama. And actually it was good cover for him in oh, the end. Oh, Big Brother, you're really spoiling us with mm-hmm. these POVs. Mm-hmm. Um, I put this was total potluck. I don't know if that's quite true, but it kind of felt like it was. William was the best counter, maybe. Mm. He was doing the stroke. He yeah. was kind of stroking his chest as well. Um, can Kevin convince him to use it? Yes, he can. 
So then Ica started twitching that William was going to use it. Going, oh, she was going. She really wanted. Yeah, Kevin she out. goes. Kevin's my target. I was like, hold on, you're not H O H. Ah, I've got the overheard conversation here. Have you? Um, I don't think so. Unless it's in the hot tub, is it? No, it's in the storeroom. In the storeroom. Kevin says to Bruno, "Are we going to eat chicken fingers?" <laughs> yeah. No. Um... <laughs> Bruno pulled out a fucking bin bag full of chicken fingers. I've written. <laughs> Industrial, yeah. si- industrial size. <laughs> chicken fingers. Chicken fingers. That's like fish fingers, right? I've heard of a fish finger, but not yeah. a chicken finger. Even I wouldn't eat that. I and mean, I <laughs> eat any old offal. <laughs> As in, I thought it was a nug nug. Yeah, it's, it is like a nug nug, But isn't in a it? Fing- finger form. That looked like form. enough chicken fingers to... Where do they buy that from? Well, they're in space. Should they even be eating that? Ah, uh, surprise <laughs> from Earth. <laughs> um, Next was Bruno and Kevin in the hot tub. Mm. Bruno said... Yeah, I've ne- Oh, this is a bit of an overheard conversation too, but mm. I had no idea what the fuck it meant. Did you? Have you got this? No. Yeah, I've never heard of the shoe swap, but I've heard of it now. What? No, but I know of it. But I know of it. This is shoe swap. This, what? Was, with, this was with Karen, actually. Oh, yeah, so I've got Karen here. Yeah, good. Yeah, he said, yeah, I've never heard of the shoe swap, mm-hmm. but I know of it now. Okay. I've heard of it. And Karen went, a thousand times? You sick of it? Is that what you mean? <laughs> nope. Bruno says, nope. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Karen says, am I already on the annoying factor already? Oh, uh, yeah. I've got this bit. Is that true? Just a little? <laughs> zero, zero patience and high annoyance? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's that all about? I don't know. But what I've, is a shoe swap? I put, Karen is busting Bruno's balls. And then she said, you've got no gut feeling, no nothing, nada, nilch, <laughs> zero. Nilch, nilch, zida, nilch nothing, she said. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I've no, I, I think that a shoe swap <laughs> is like a peanut gallery situation. You what? know that we didn't know what peanut gallery I meant. I think we just misheard something. But I don't no, know. because I've got a feeling it was subtitled, so I copied oh. it. Oh, really? Yeah. Shoe swap. What is a shoe swap? And Laurie, I'm like looking at you. It sounds just like you're a drunk person saying shoe swap. So yeah, she goes, yeah, before she said that, like, you don't know what's going to happen. She goes, yeah. you're campaigning, not yeah. campaigning, yeah. done with yeah, that, that, okay. That yeah. <laughs> Bruno's just sat there like, oh God. <laughs> and then I've got Kevin campaigning to Will. Yep, me too, in the bedroom. Yeah, he said, they're going to vote me out. I will be your number one ally and fight to get you to the final two. He said, it's on you, is it? Mm-hmm. You decide <laughs> whether I or Bruno goes home. Mm-hmm. And William said, I want you to stay. And then Dre said, I'm not sure if William is going to use the veto. And Ica said, I will strangle him. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ica getting Dre... Oh, yeah, Ica's... So Ica's plan was to get Dre to tell William that Kevin's not the target. So William doesn't need to use the veto because they're mm, not going to evict Kevin anyway. There's no, he's no, there's no question he's yeah. staying. Um Hang on a minute. Who is this between Kevin and William, right? When mm-hmm. he said, I care about you, he mm-hmm. said, I have genuine feelings. Who said that? Kevin, Kevin to William during you that conversation. fucking liar. And liar. I care about you as a person. I don't care about these other people. Mm-hmm. To say you have genuine feelings, <sighs> and then, as we now know, the next day to say, we're not a showman. The fuck? That is mind fucking Kevin fuckery. Kevin is a sketchy fucking snake. That Kevin Martin. That Kevin Martin. Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer. That's what... <laughs> he's a serial killer. Karen <laughs> keeps calling Kevin it, apparently, on the oh, live feed. <laughs> Jesus. It's like calling him, like, Ian Huntley. Yeah, no, exactly. No, exactly. Not that no, bad. no, it is. Really? It's worse. Well, it's the same. Fuck. <laughs> oh, by the way, hang on. Here's something. Mm-hmm. Randomly. You know, like... A few weeks ago, we had a discussion, and I don't know how we got there, but who knows how we get anywhere on, on this podcast. <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> it was about the Kool-Aid Jonestown yeah, massacre, right? I now, I was that. in the pub with my work colleagues mm. the other night, and you told me about that on the did. podcast. I did. And the Kool-Aid Jonestown massacre subject came up. Was Isn't it, it a, just weird? Was I think it in a pub quiz or just a conversation? Around, just a conversation mm-hmm. amongst my colleagues. And did you see more knowledge about it? And I was it? like, oh, I know about yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> Clever no, I was like, tell me more, can yeah. you? Because mm-hmm. we didn't really go into detail mm-hmm. there, but like... It's all the cults and stuff if, that are going on over there. It's fucked up. If you listen to the recording of that, because they've got the... Rec- I told you it's full of it. They've got rid of a recording of where Stop he makes it. everyone drink their food. It's an hour long. It is dark. No. It is proper dark. Um, just listen to BB on Blast instead. It's much, much more lighthearted. <laughs> and we won't make you drink anything except... Uh, Prosecco. Prosecco. No, we don't, won't even make you drink that. We just want to drink it. So <laughs> then, um... If you'd like to send us some Prosecco, <laughs> PayPal. <laughs> BB on Blast. 
Now, when you want to talk to someone, yeah. what sort of time frame do you like to give them? You say you go into a uh, room. Can I, speak, can I speak to you for... Four seconds. 